Okay, I'm trying again. My third go at it in the bullet journal. I haven't actually used it yet for my planning because I'll do some work in it and I'm like, eh, I don't want to. So I'm gonna try again today. And this time, instead of trying to do daily stuff, which is what I tried in the last video and then promptly ignored, I'm gonna try setting a week up in a way that I feel might be something I would actually use and that might give me the motivation to use it. So I'm gonna use this page here to list out the things that I feel that I would need in my own personal weekly spread. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now. So what am I going to need? This is what personally for me, not for anyone else, which I guess is the point of this shit, right? So I'm going to need, I need the weather. I need dinner plans. I need the kids schedules. I need my school schedule. I need my husband's band practice. I need my music practice. Totally just smeared that with my fucking hand. Oh, well. I need a place for my homework. Then I need a place for shopping lists because I always seem to need to buy more shit. So these are all the things I need in a weekly schedule, aside from anything else, aside from appointment keeping and whatever. Let's let's do this. Let's just give this a shot. Okay. I'm going to try today. I'm going to try a, some kind of a... If I'm not going to use this to do my scheduling, because I already got that going on, I'm going to try like kind of a grid situation so what we got we have okay so let's look at this again so we have weather dinner plans kids schedules and i have two kids so i have katie and rj these can be put together in music my school and my homework can probably get put together in one what do we have we have one two three four five six seven categories do i have anything else i need to put in here God damn it. You know, I'm, I had the MRI this morning and it was kind of nerve wrenching. So I'm a little out of it. Oh, we should have one more, an important. There's always something important that needs to happen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories. And there's seven days a week. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into eight parts, like downward, like columns, eight columns, and then seven rows. I think that might work. Let's try this out. So how wide is, I'm going to actually do some measuring. We got, okay, that's too much measuring for me. Let's just kind of go in half. Let's say this is the half because that kind of looks like a half, right? And then we'll go in half again and half again. And that's not exactly perfect, but Ugh, fuck, when is this ever going to be perfect? I don't know when this is ever going to be perfect. I don't think it is. My eyeball in game is not on point. Close enough. Let's draw these lines. Okay, so that's seven, eight, whatever, however many systems that we want to do. So I'm going to make a little title bar here go across the top. Part of me is thinking now that I've gotten this deep that I should have done the days as the columns and the categories as the rows, but whatevs. Okay, I'm going to do some counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy shit. With those taken off, there's 35 squares. I actually eyeballed it in a beautiful way. So 35 divided by 7 is 5. So I'm going to do 5 squares at a time. I can't believe I did that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, you know, each time I do this, bi this Bible, I was going to say Bible journaling, wouldn't that be the day? Um, bullet journaling shit. Each time I do this. I seem to have a slightly more triumphant one, two, three, four, five, a slightly more triumphant time of it. So maybe this is just, I'll go through this entire fucking lectern. I know somebody told me in the comments how to pronounce this and I brain farted on it, but whatever. Lectern notebook. I'm going to go through this whole thing just drawing fucking mock-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Like... If you want to see me plan with my real plans, like my, how I plan my weeks out on the regular, check out my plan with me videos because those ones, I'm comfortable there relatively. This, I am out of my comfort zone and I do not like being out of my comfort zone, but I am trying on behalf of everyone who told me I should, one, two, three, four, five, and on behalf of the FOMO that I feel when everyone and their mother is jumping on the bullet journaling bandwagon, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that, but everyone else is doing it, and I've got to do what everyone else is doing because that's just how I roll. 
I should say on a side note, I still have not, I'm in one of the big bullet journaling groups. I haven't actually like looked at a lot of inspiration there because I find it all very overwhelming. I just occurred to me that I did not do another column for the date. So I'm going to do that here. Just cut this first one off a little bit because that sorry sucks to be you, my friend. So there is my grid for the week. This can be weather. I can I can do weather here. So we'll do we'll do Monday. This is just going to be an example. I'm not actually gonna. I'm, this is a mock up. And it's not like a mock up like some people do plan with me to show their stickers and shit. Like I'm not doing that. I'm doing this mostly because if I can come up with like a system that I think might work for me, this way I don't have any pressure. So I've got my days. Did I even take that off completely off camera? Well, if I did, I'm sorry. I fucking don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, weather. So I'm going to just do some pretend weather doodles here to see how it looks. So we'll do the sun. Let's say it's sunshiny this day. 100 degrees and 40 degrees because that looks like Napa weather, you know, sometimes super balls hot in the day and then chilly at night. And then we can do cloudy, sunshiny, and then we can do super cloudy. And if you want to know all about how I do my weather doodles, there's another video that has them. You can go check that out too. We can do rainy raindrops are falling on my head something 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 turning red okay so rain i'm not drawing snow i don't live in a land of snow I think you could do a snowman i don't know anyway so i like how the weather doodles are looking there so that's a good experiment so we have eight or what seven other things so we can do dinner plans I'll put them here because if I have to put something in the crock pot, then I need to have the dinner plans right in the line of sight. This also offers enough space for like, if I'm doing barbecue chicken in the crock pot, I can like draw a little crock pot and then put like 8 a.m. for if that's when it has to go in. You know what I mean? Or stamps, other shit. I think that'll work there. I think I'm onto something here. Okay, we have all these other ones. I'm going to do the next one as schooling because for me, I'm still in the habit. We're all getting back to the habit of going back to school, but my kids have only been off for a summer. I've been off for decades. Decade? Okay, one decade plus almost two decades. And I know that I can put like my classes here and then the homework. I was going to do my kids separately, but always have stuff every single day and it seems like a waste of space so we'll put just the kids I'm sort of doing this as i go along half ass in it if you can't tell this is a, this is a template so you know like if rj has a game or if katie has back to school night then i can put their information down as they need it any meetings for them as well that'll work out really neatly So apparently my camera stopped filming and I didn't even realize it, motherfucker. If it's any consolation, I didn't cuss or do anything crazy. I was mostly just contemplative this whole time. But I added big kids for my husband's and my stuff, like his band practices, my church shit, whatever. Home for our, you know, chores that need to be done around the house important for things like insurance paperwork, bills that need to be paid, mail that needs to be go, going out. And then I can't remember if I had this in before, but it was, we need, it's our shopping list, stuff I need to pick up when I'm out and about. The thing I came to the conclusion of when I was finishing writing this out was that I feel like this might actually be the first thing that I can do in here that feels useful. So this is a mock-up. I'm gonna draw this week out for the next week. Not now, but I'll, I'm gonna do it later for next week, I think it's the 29th for that week, and I'm gonna give it a try alongside my other shit, and I will keep you involved as to whether or not I actually am doing okay, but this, looking at this like at a glance, feels like something that might really work for me to keep my stuff together. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being okay with the jump cut that I had to do there. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you next time.